the focus of the remaining part of this course is going to be on cash flow. And before we dive into cash flow, I want to first spend a little bit of time talking about networking capital. Networking capital is the short term cash flow that um, a firm needs to perform its day to day operation. Networking capital is defined as current assets minus current liability. And when we are talking about cash flow, our focus is on the change, and that's referred to as additions to networking capital. So an addition to networking capital is defined as the ending networking capital minus the beginning. So we want to know how much networking capital you have added to the firm during the year. And if a firm is growing, we'll expect that to be positive because you are going to be having more current asset relative to your current liability. So think of it as a firm, uh, a growing firm will have increases in its accounts receivable. You'll have a high inventory on hand, and that will tend to be larger than what you can obtain from credit, such as accounts payable. And in order to finance growth, in order to finance the larger accounts receivable for, to extend credits to our customer, uh, to buy more inventory uh, so that the firm will be ready for business, it requires cash. So networking capital is a use of cash and uh, when, when we are increasing networking capital. To dive a little bit more into understanding uh, networking capital, we're going to go through an, exa an example. So to do that, we're going to use our sample balance sheet that you saw earlier today. So if you don't have that handy, uh, you don't have that printed out or in front of you, uh, please pause the video now and get that. So here is our sample balance sheet. Remember that when we're looking at networking capital, we are focusing on current asset and current liability. So our current asset is $845,000 in year zero. So year zero is, remember, is beginning and is $871,000 in year one, which is the ending current asset. Uh, similarly, for current liability, the total for in the beginning is $320,000, and in the end is $435,000. So we're going to use this number to help us compute the change in networking capital. So we're going to use this number to help us compute networking capital. So remember that in year zero, year zero is the beginning number. So our beginning networking capital is defined as current asset of $845,000 minus current liability of $320,000. So that gives us our beginning networking capital of $525,000. Next, we're going to look compute our ending networking capital. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video now and go ahead and compute that on your own. Welcome back. Did you get $436,550 for your year one or ending networking capital? If you do, great, congratulations. If not, pause the video again, go back and look at the balance sheet and see what mistakes you may have made. Did you get the correct current asset? Did you get the correct current liability? Now we have the beginning and ending networking capital. We can compute the additions to networking capitals. So first of all, we saw that in this firm, our ending networking capital is less than our beginning networking capital. So that's a little bit unusual. And what that means is our addition the way that we de describe our formula will turn out to be a negative number. What that means is we didn't add to our networking capital, instead we reduce our networking capital. So I say, what happened? Well, to answer that question, we'll have to dive a little bit deeper. So you see that in this firm, um, from beginning to ending, we saw that our cash actually went up, so that's an increase. Our inventory also went up, but our accounts receivable went down. And if you look at current liability, our accounts payable went up, 
and so does our NOx payable. So our decrease in networking capital is mostly because we can increase our accounts payables. We're able to obtain a $50,000 more in financing, um, whereas our increase in inventory is um, $65,000. So that makes sense. Um, we bought more inventory. We are not financing all the new inventory with credit, but it's not a substantial amount that we need to pay cash for. So the real big decrease is our ability to get um, either get more cash payment from our customer, uh, which hopefully that will be the case. And you may want to spend a little bit more time to make sure that uh, we are not losing customers because we are becoming more restrictive in terms of our credit policy. So this is how you can get a, a big picture by computing the uh, major cash flow items such as networking capital, additions to networking capital. And then you will dive deeper into the individual items to try to find out what happened. And that is the focus of finance. We look at the numbers and we assume that the statements are prepared correctly because they typically they have been audited. And what we want to do is to find out the information, what is going on with the firm based on financial data. In the next video, we're going to go over more in depth how do we perform, um, how do we compute cash flow.